No one can say for exactly how long, but the Aboriginal people of Australia have lived on this land for more than 40,000 years. It's their country. They know the rocks, the plants, the animals and the sky. The stars tell a lot of Aboriginal people a lot of things, but they tell my people when to gather the emu eggs. We tell this by looking into the Milky Way. We also use the stars as a map, as a guide. Hi, my name's Godfrey Simpson and I'm a Wadjuri man from the Midwest of Western Australia and this is my country. The Wadjuri are the traditional owners of a vast and empty part of the Midwest of Western Australia. My Wadjuri name is Mayu Wira, which means tall boy. My grandmother noticed how big my feet were as a baby and she dubbed me then tall boy. My people, the Wadjuri people, have been here on this land for 40 to 60,000 years, and we're still here. He's heading out onto country for a naming ceremony to name the first six Pathfinder antennas built on his land. I would now like to introduce uh, Godfrey Simpson, who will do the welcome to country. And on behalf of myself, my grandfather, my uncle, I'd like to say welcome to Baladi and welcome to Wadjuri country. I would also like to show my respect and acknowledge the Wadjuri people as traditional custodians of the land. We think it's a great project that will help the world. Wadjuri people with our community and with the Syro people. The naming is part of a rich traditional culture where every dab of paint, every step in the dance has meaning. Dancing and singing is a big part of our culture. It's passed down from generation to generation. Kids are taught songs, which we call song lines from an early age. The song line is basically a map. As you sing the song and learn the song over the years, you put an imprint into your mind of the country. come out to country it means a lot um, you feel one with the with the land with the animals I believe all Aboriginal people feel the sense of happiness and relief when they return to their homeland um, it's like a sixth sense like any part of Australia I guess there's, there are two different extremes you know the, the beauty of it and then you don't want to get lost out in this country either Wadjuri country is harsh, sparse and empty. What makes Wadjuri country unsuitable for all sorts of development makes it an ideal location for the SKA. Today the Australian SKA Pathfinder Telescope is delivering such benefits as high speed internet connectivity to remote communities, cadetship programs and mentorship for Indigenous students. As Wadjuri people we give our blessing for this project, the SKA project to go ahead. Don't see it as a big footprint, if you like, on the land. It's more like just scratching the surface. There's something right about using country that's been cherished for tens of thousands of years by members of one of the world's oldest cultures as the site of a telescope that will peer billions of years into the past. 